from warships sinking on their maiden voyage to mind-blowing sights of sunken treasures, here are 12 of the most mysterious and amazing shipwrecks. The WTC Ship Rebuilding efforts at the site of the World Trade Center were halted in 2010, when workers made a bizarre discovery. The remains of a sailing vessel were located about 22 feet, or 7 meters, beneath the present-day street level. For an extended period, no one knew where it could have come from. After four years, the mystery was solved by studying tree rings in the ship's waterlogged wood. Archaeologists determined the vessel had been constructed around 1773, probably in a small shipyard less than 100 miles away, or 161 kilometers. And it may have been the same type of white oak trees used for constructing Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Along with artifacts including bottles, shoes, and animal bones, researchers unearthed a 32-foot length, or almost 10 meters, of the ship's hull. Along with the mystery of the ship's identity is whether or not it accidentally sank. Some historians say it may have been intentionally submerged for use as landfill. The Eduard Bolen. We usually think of shipwrecks occurring in the sea, then sinking to the bottom. But this one happened on land. Well, sort of. The Eduard Bolen was a cargo ship that encountered a thick fog in September of 1909. She ran aground and wrecked at Conception Bay on the coast of present-day Namibia in Africa. The 310-foot or 94-meter wreck can be found rusting in the sand and partially buried about a quarter mile from the shoreline. Mediterranean Ghost Fleet Ancient shipwrecks were discovered on the floor of the Black Sea in 2016. More than 40 perfectly preserved shipwrecks were accidentally located with remote-operated vehicles during a mapping expedition. That process was intended for conducting geophysical surveys. Instead, it found ships on the sea floor dating back to 330 CE that belonged to the Byzantine and Ottoman empires. They were among the civilizations known to conduct trade and other activities on the Black Sea. The vessels were found at depths exceeding 5,900 feet, or 1,800 meters. Experts attribute their perfect preservation to the Black Sea's dead zone. That's a lower anoxic level, which contains no oxygen or light. Organisms that would normally consume organic material, like wood, can't survive in such an environment. The Vasa Shipwreck From the mid-17th to 18th centuries, Sweden developed from a poor European kingdom with little influence into a major continental power. Since the Vasa's shipwreck was recovered in 1961, it's become a symbol of the country's Great Power Period. Armed with powerful guns, it was viewed as the most destructive warship of its time. That was due to its combined weight of shot fired from the cannons of one side. At 588 pounds, or 267 kilograms, it represented the greatest concentration of artillery found in a single warship in the region at the time. But all that power came at a cost. The many cannons aboard made the ship dangerously unstable. Even so, the Vasa was ordered to set sail in 1628 and take up status as flagship of the Swedish fleet. As it happened, the ship's maiden voyage was also its last voyage. Strong winds caused the Vasa to flounder and eventually sink less than 400 feet. After its recovery in the 20th century, the ship has since become one of Sweden's most popular tourist attractions. It's on display at the Vasa Museum in Stockholm. You might be wondering why this great ship sank on its maiden voyage. An official inquiry conducted soon after the catastrophe concluded that, and we quote, only God knows. SS Warata. This was a steamship that launched in 1908 and operated between Europe and Australia. One year later, it was en route from Cape Town, South Africa to Australia. Somewhere along that journey, the ship vanished, along with more than 200 passengers and crew members on board. After it failed to arrive in port, an extensive search was conducted, which was unsuccessful. Theories for the ship's disappearance include rough seas and bad weather. Reports of debris and bodies found along various coastlines of the Southern Hemisphere were never verified as belonging to the SS Warata. There are cases where discovered shipwrecks are unidentified. Then there are cases like this, where a shipwreck did occur, but has never been found. And maybe it never will be. Deep Sea Desert Discovery You normally think of sunken treasure being found deep in the water, 
But here's a case where treasure was found aboard a ship that was deep in the Namibian desert. Diamond miners in Africa were draining a man-made saltwater lake by the Skeleton Coast. That's where they noticed bits and pieces of wood and metal along the beach, which led to the discovery of a 500-year-old shipwreck that was hidden under the sand. The bomb Jesus was a Portuguese carrick that was en route from Lisbon to India when it, along with its entire crew, disappeared. The cargo included skeletons, ivory tusks from West Africa, swords, and knives. Its cargo of gold and silver was estimated at more than $11 million. Located in 2008, this one ranks as one of the most important shipwreck finds ever, the Uluburun shipwreck. In the early 1980s, a sponge diver discovered a shipwreck near the shores of Uluburun in southwestern Turkey. The ruins were later identified as a vessel from the late 14th century CE. After researchers examined the wreck, they concluded that the ship would have measured about 52 feet, or 16 meters long, and was probably sailing to a port on mainland Greece. Its cargo contained a mix of luxury items and trade goods, including gold and precious gems, ivory from elephants and hippos, and several tons of unrefined copper. Some of the trade items had previously only been known from Egyptian tomb paintings or ancient texts. More than 22,000 dives from 1984 to 1994 were needed for the ship's excavation. The wreck is now regarded as one of the Mediterranean Sea's most spectacular late Bronze Age discoveries, the Mary Rose. This was one of the most advanced warships of its day. Launched in 1511, it served the English Tudor Navy of King Henry VIII and sailed for more than 30 years. During that time, it was involved with several skirmishes with the French. In 1545, King Henry was occupied with maintaining frayed diplomatic relationships with the continent while also contending with the Pope regarding his marriages. Sensing that England was distracted, the French launched an invasion at Portsmouth. The Mary Rose was once more enlisted, but it didn't survive the battle. At some point, the ship may have been caught in a cannon bombardment and sank, sending some 300 crew members to a watery grave. An exact cause for its sinking has never been determined, but the complex excavation and raising of the shipwreck have become a milestone in maritime archaeology. Artifacts recovered have provided invaluable insights to subject ranging from naval warfare to musical instruments. The ship's remains are now housed at the Mary Rowe Museum in Portsmouth. SS Central America Here's a case where a treasure found in the sea led to a lot of intrigue on land. The SS Central America was often called the Ship of Gold. It was hit by a hurricane in 1857 off the coast of South Carolina, where it sank. In addition to claiming more than 400 lives, thousands of pounds of California gold were also lost to the Atlantic Ocean, which fueled an economic panic at the time. The event also led to a story that plays like a crime drama. In 1988, a treasure hunter named Tommy Thompson located the wreck. He and his crew recovered a humongous haul of gold coins and bars, which was sold for around $50 million. Despite the big sale, Thompson never repaid his investors, and he went on the run. He was eventually arrested in Florida in 2015, where he'd been hiding out. The SS Central America contained what is considered the greatest lost treasure of United States history. We found estimates that the gold coins could have been worth up to $100 million, if not even more. Sea of Galilee Mystery Ship an ancient fishing boat dating to the first century CE was discovered in 1986 on the shore of Galilee. Measuring around 27 feet long, or 8 meters, and 7.5 and feet wide, or 2 meters, the craft was revealed when a drought caused the waters to recede. While it has great historical importance for the people of the region, the vessel is simply referred to as Ancient Galilee Boat. But it's also come to be known as the Jesus Boat, because it's thought to be the type of craft that was often mentioned in the Gospels. It's on display at the Galilee Boat Museum in western Israel. SS City of Cairo 100 tons of rupees carried by the SS City of Cairo were thought to have been lost forever when the vessel was torpedoed by a Nazi U-boat in 1942. But the valuable cargo was later located by researchers using robotics and sonar at extreme depths of some 17,000 feet. The vessel was found broken in two on the ocean floor and buried in sea silt nearly 500 miles, or 805 kilometers, south of St. Helena in the Atlantic Ocean. It was en route during World War II from Bombay to London with a hoard of silver coins, which belonged to the United Kingdom's treasury. The recovery effort actually took place in 2013, but wasn't made public until two years later. The ship's cargo has been valued at more than $40 million. The San Jose 
This was a Spanish galleon that was estimated to be carrying gold and precious jewels worth more than $10 million. It was sunk by the Royal Navy off the coast of Colombia in 1708. Its cargo was intended to finance Spain's War of Secession against the British, during which an estimated 600 people died. After decades of searching, the wreck was discovered in 2015 off the coast of Cartagena. Adjusted for inflation, the treasure's value is now estimated to be worth billions of dollars. While none of the treasure has yet been recovered, pictures of the wreck were taken by a deep sea camera. Sonar images depict bronze cannons that were custom made for the vessel, along with armaments, ceramic works, and other artifacts. San Jose could represent the most valuable sunken treasure ever discovered, but exactly who gets how much of the booty is still undetermined. Claims of ownership have been staked by Colombia, Spain, and by a United States salvage company so there are still plenty of legal entanglements to be worked out. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.